Linkages are the parts of machines that do the pushing and pulling. They can push a mechanism apart or pull it together. They can push and pull in different directions at the same time and even make an action go round a corner. They're called linkages because they're made of components that link together at pivot points and those pivot points can be fixed or they can be loose and move depending on what you want the linkage to do. We're going to have a look at some samples of some linkage mechanisms but first of all I want to show you a little performance. Hi guys. Hi. So these two have been operating our little creatures from behind the scenes and they are made using different linkage mechanisms to make them move. So we're going to go into the workshop now and take a closer look at how that works and see if we can make some ourselves. Okay, now we've seen the monster machines in action, we're going to set about making some for ourselves. So you're going to need a backboard, a base, two sides, and a top rail. Okay, so first of all I'm going to put a bit of glue in these grooves. And I'm also going to put a bit of glue just on the ends of the base piece. Then the back fits in the groove and the two sides come up to join it. And then it should all fit together quite neatly. So the last piece is the top rail and we'll put a bit of glue at either end and slot it in the front and push the two sides together just to squeeze it together and then put it on one side to dry. Before you start making your models download the instruction sheets and parts lists off the website and refer to those during your build. Right, on the instructions you will see that these pivot places are colour coded and some of them are called fixed pivots and some of them are called moving pivots. So on this particular model, these two here are fixed pivots because they're glued into the backboard and they don't move out of position. So the first thing to do is to glue those in place on our model. Let's make the snapping dragon as an example. So here is the dragon structure without the body shapes superimposed on top. There are two fixed pivot points in the backboard and the rest are all moving. So first of all, we're going to pre-glue these little pegs. I've already done some here. We'll just do these last two and then leave them to dry.
Okay, so here's the dragon's structure all working and snapping away there with his jaws. And here he is with the body shapes cut out of um, red plastic and he's got little pom-poms and googly eyes up there for his eyes. Um, but you can make it out of all sorts of different materials. So it's a good idea to start with just plain white card and cut out the shapes on that. And that's a good way just to get going. Here is a spider and he's made out of, again, pom-poms and googly eyes with these lovely springy pipe cleaners that give him a nice little jiggly kind of movement. And we've got a pecking bird here on a crane mechanism and that again has been made out of card with feathers attached. And a ghosty shape with opening eyes and mouth. So you have a think about what you'd like to make and what materials you'd like to use and let your imagination go. simple models. Let's have a look at some more complicated timber kit models and see how the linkages are helping the mechanisms work. Okay so here we've got a funny little creature stretching his neck out to try and gobble up the fish. How do you think the linkages are working in his neck? How would you describe them and how are they working? linkages are a more complex arrangement of our very simple little model here which is just grabbing with its horrible nasty hands and claws. So these, this is called a scissor linkage because it works by two linkages going across each other. This is a model of a beam engine and beam engines were often used to pump water up from underground. There are all sorts of linkages here all doing slightly different jobs but there's one particular linkage at the front, which is very similar to our simpler model here on the left. This linkage in the corner here is called a bell crank, and it works by this rod is pushing across, and it's pushing this mechanism up and down, just like this simple model here on the left. Now the linkages in this T-Rex model are his own body parts. So his front leg, his neck pieces and his body all form an arrangement of linkages. So as the head pulls back, this other neck piece pulls the jaw down. Now the dragon has his linkages all connected in his neck. This linkage here is connected to his ears, which are also connected to the top of his mouth. So as the neck pushes backwards and forwards, it pulls the top of his mouth open and shut. 